April 10th, 2014, Matthew 24, 6. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for these things shall come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? So, moving right along. And we're going to have World War Three soon. Could this be the Ezekiel 38 war that leads into it? Time will tell. And this is the remnants of a thermonuclear war that Hollywood's been showing us through numerous movies. So, in 2 Chronicles 16.9, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, or from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. If you don't follow God, you're going to have wars. Okay? This is about wars. <clears throat> We're coming up on the Third World War. Psalm 46 9. He maketh wars to cease and end on the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear asunder and burneth the chariot in the fire. This is the Lord speaking. Inspired through uh, King David, who wrote the Psalms. Numbers 21 14. Wherefore it was said in the book of wars of the Lord. The Lord has a book of the wars. I mean, Revelation is a, is a war. Revelation could be World War Three. Okay, so Romans 9 13. As it is written, Jacob, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. This is the Lord speaking, okay? The Lord picks and chooses who he loves and who he doesn't. I mean, who can question the Lord? Can the clay uh, talk back to the potter? You know, the guy who made you? <laughs> I don't think so. So this is Esau and Jacob, and, you know, Jacob steals his birthright because Esau comes in hungry, didn't, didn't catch anything, and he wants the bowl of soup, and Jacob sells it to him for his birthright. Which was stupid on the part of Esau. So you got Esau Palestine fighting Israel over here. Okay? And they've been fighting ever since. Since Jacob. Revelation 19.11. 9.11. And I saw heaven open. And behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was faithful and true. That's Jesus. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Okay, that's the second coming war, Armageddon right there. Why World War III will begin in Syria, okay? This guy at the Common Sense Show .com has a lot of good articles. I'd recommend it, but he gives some good insights that I like. <clears throat> Over here in Amos 1.5, I will break also the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhibitant from the plain of Avon. And him that holdeth the scepter from the house of Eden, this, that's Jesus, and the people of Syria, Syria shall go into captivity un, unto Ker, saith the Lord. So, you know, Syria and Damascus are going to get cut off soon. And you can see that happening right now. There's Damascus right now, Syria. Okay. Prophecy being fulfilled. Okay, so Ezekiel 37, 14. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and you shall place you in your own land. It's talking about Israel. Then shall you know that I am the Lord, and have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. You know, that's Israel becoming a country in 1948. Prophecy fulfilled right there, and he's going to protect Israel. So moving right along. This is Israel and their land, spirit descending on it. And Ezekiel 38, 3. And say, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, which is Russia, chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, could be Putin. All right. And this is World War II puppets, okay, Jesuits, okay. You got the Brit, the American, and the Russian. Same thing that's happening right now. Putin prepares. Alright? He's not going to stop. 
And in Joel 2.31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. Okay, this is a personal video of mine of a blood moon coming up on April 15th. March 16th, 2014. As you can see, there is a full moon and it's turning blood red. This is not a so, uh, lunar eclipse. Next month, on the 15th of April, is the first Passover with a lunar eclipse. So this is a precursor. I want to share this with you and show you that the signs of the times. You shall see signs in the stars and in the moon, the Lord says. Just amazing how our Lord does, does this gives out a warning signal to Israel. Could this be the year?